Hey, Tim here. In the 21.4 release, I talked about a capability in map layers, and essentially for one of those videos, I had to use all tricks to converse eastings to northings, and essentially create an output using latitude and longitude. I actually used the point, the centroid capability inside of Tableau. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did that here in all tricks. This is the workflow complete. We're gonna take it apart and start from the beginning. I'm gonna show you how to do this for yourself. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so you can see here we've got the flow. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this whole entire thing so we can start from the very beginning and I can show you the fundamentals. The first thing I've done is I've connected to my data set and you can see a little preview of it here on the left-hand side. Um, this preview is kind of handy because it gives you an idea of what's in your data set. Now, the next thing we need to do is to actually use the spatial data. And if I just pull up my browse window here, you can see that I've got the location eastings and northings. And in the UK, that's the standard way that you know governments use to map data, essentially. This helps uh, uh, sort of give an equivalent to latitude and longitude in the UK. So we need to convert this before we can actually do something with it inside of Tableau. You could do this directly inside of Tableau, but because of the scale of this data, it's actually faster to do it in Alteryx and have a hyper extract ready created in all tricks. So let's go ahead and do this. The first thing I'm going to do is to get the create points capability just up here. You can see that I'm actually in the spatial section of the all tricks interface. So you can see that up here spatial is selected just behind my little annotation window. And I've gone to the create points function here and I'm just going to drag that in there. Now, if you can't find this, just go to the search at the top and type in create points, and then you'll be able to sort of drag it in from the canvas like that as well. So uh, no worries if you can't find it. If you haven't got spatial enabled, then you need to go to this little plus icon and make sure that you can see the spatial section here selected. Uh, make sure that's selected and then you're going to be pretty much good to go. So we've got this create points function in, but now we need to give it some information. And so what we need to do is to give it the correct information. So for this, longitude, I believe, is northing and latitude, I believe, is easting. If I've got this wrong, we'll know when we visualize this inside of all tricks when it runs. The other thing I need to do is to tell it um, what projection is being used. It's not the standard latitude and longitude. So what I have to do is to go into this tiny menu here on the left. And if you click these three dots, what it actually does is it opens up an interface where you can go and search for the one you need. Now, the one I need is actually the UK one. And I know that's up here at the top, uh, British National Grid, OSGB 1936. The actual code for it is 27700. If you're in doubt, you can go to a website called epsg io and find all these codes and pretty much figure everything out there and then come back in here and search for it so let's hit okay and now that we've done that we're pretty much ready to go and what we can do is we can just test that this is working so let's add a browse tool i don't always need to add a browse i could just use the output um, node from that particular tool but this will show me straight away that i've got those two locations the wrong way around i can tell because it sort of looks like it's been rotated the other way and so what we need to do is to switch eastings and northing back so this is the great thing when you can actually see your data you can kind of make this mistakes and not really worry imagine if you were coding this you'd have to get this the right time because it might take a while to run and you can't just sort of uh, fail fast as it were so now this looks correct this is the correct thing i can never remember which way those two round which way around those two go. So, you know, here we are. So now that I've done this, um, I can actually see if I scroll to the right and just move my face out of the way, you can see that I've got this centroid that I can actually use in Tableau. But what if I need to make this data a little bit more portable and I want the latitude and longitude to use in other tools? Well, I can do one more step here, which is to go and grab the spatial information of the centroid. So what we'll do is we'll grab this little spatial info icon up here at the top and we'll drop it into the flow and you'll see that we get a bunch of options. Now, one of those options is to take the centroid as X and Y fields, okay? And because this time we want it to go to the latitude and longitude, we can actually leave the default down here as it is. If we wanted to change this back to easting and northings, we could again go to the same option with these three dots down here on the bottom and then change that. But we don't need to do that here. We can just keep pushing forward. So now let's uh, run this flow again. I can't, I keep moving my face everywhere. So I think I'll just move it to the bottom left here because it's out of the way. And now when I click on the output and I scroll to the right, we not only get the centroid, but we now also get the latitude and longitude created for us. We can then create the uh, file from this. So we can just go to the output step here, grab the output, put it in, uh, link these two up and then select them. And then now we can just go ahead and select the hyper file so we can put this in Tableau. And you can see that I've already done this already. So I'll actually call this bus data version two, just because it's for this demo. Uh, and if you head to the description of this video, you can find this workflow pub 
um, packaged and sort of download it and use it to your heart's content. So let me save this uh, and then run this and you can see how fast this runs. It's almost instantaneous. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much how I did it in that video. And this is what I've used in the Tableau explainer as well. So hopefully you found this useful as a way of understanding how to convert things from Eastings and Northings or to pretty much any other, um, you know, spatial uh, projection that you want. You can, you can, you can pretty much pick anything from this list um, and to and suit it to sort of your heart's content. So that's pretty much it from me. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.